I have a very particular fetish. Having a secret fetish is like having a secret affair. Um, essentially, I'm really into the idea of, of her dressed fully as a cat. <coughs> You're going to actually have to come to terms with this in your own mind in some way, and either you're going to have to find something else that gets you turned on, or you're going to have to have a really important conversation with her. Have you ever watched porn and enjoyed it yourself? Yeah, I've totally watched porn and absolutely loved it. But do you think that if you were watching heterosexual porn, that you actually do that thing that women do, which is like, oh, she doesn't want to be looking like that. <laughs> Aren't we critical of each other? It feels like it's like this huge amount of pressure and it's just like it doesn't have to be like that it's supposed to just be fun and pleasure it's not supposed to be like you know okay i've got to like make her come like 20,000 times and she's got to do this do you know what i mean it's I kind of i get a bit nervous and i kind of come a bit uh, like a bit early like you know premature ejaculation a bit yeah 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 so she must be hot so congratulations on having a very she's hot quite, girlfriend who's hot. technically brilliant so you want to give it a bit of a squeeze that basically will... that hurt, though? Won't that, won't that hurt? Well, it depends how hard you're squeezing it, sweetie. I would say don't squeeze it too hard if it hurts, OK? Enjoy your Thanks evening. Well. I tell you something, you're going to have to turn his microphone off because we might be turning the show into a little bit more risque than I had intended. We're suddenly be going, hang on, can you squeeze it for me? I can't reach. Can you squeeze it yourself? <laughs> Thanks so much for your call, Darren. You're quite a laugh. I love you.